project right here, we're all going to make a wooden ruler. Um, this is on a piece of Paduk. You could do it two different ways. One is on the CNC router, and then the other is on the laser engraver. So it's all about measurement. Um, the layout's going to be in Mastercam. Every inch line is three quarters. Every half inch line is a half, half inch long. Every quarter inch line is a quarter inch. Every eighth inch line is an eighth inch long. And the 16 marks are on there too. Let me lay out a ruler here. Here's one inch. So it's going to start at zero to one. Right in the middle is my half inch line. This is a half. I split that in half again to get a quarter inch line. This is a quarter. And then this is one quarter, two quarter, three quarters, four quarters. And then I split those in half to get eighths. So this is an eighth inch line here. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths. And then I split those in half again to get my sixteenth. So here's one sixteenth, two sixteenths, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sixteenths, nine sixteenths, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen sixteenths. So when you draw this in Mastercam, this actual line is going to be a half inch long. This actual line will be a quarter inch. The eighth inch lines will all be an eighth inch long. And then your sixteenth lines are a sixteenth inch long. So first we have to prepare our stock. This Paduke is one inch thick, and then the board is over 12 inches long. This is 14, because we're going to cut our whole ruler, and then we're going to trim it right down. This side. board is an eighth inch thick, so what you need to do so you don't remove the safety guard is measure the overall stock four and a half, subtract your blade width, four and a half minus the eighth is four and three eighths, and then your board is another eighth. So if this board's four and a half, I have to subtract my blade width and then the width of my ruler. So that puts me at four and a quarter. So I bring my fence to four and a quarter. And I'll cut the my ruler. So now the next person who cuts the board has to measure that overall width, subtract blade width, and then subtract the width of the ruler. Okay, so this is master cam. Everybody needs to draw this in master cam. You always start with machine type, router. Our machine is a techno servo. That brings up your property manager. I'm going to set this stock set up. This is the size of my wood. I'm going to run it from the lower left corner. And my board is one inch by 14 inches. And it's an eighth inch thick, 0.125. If I want to see that board, I hit display here. The first thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle snapping at the origin and going over those dimensions. So I want to go over 14 and I want to go up 1 and then I need a snap in the first quadrant and fit screen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to offset this by 1 inch. I'm just going to draw my first inch and the reason why I like that board 14 inches long is so that I could, uh, after I'm completely done, trim it right to that mark so it's an accurate ruler that I'm making. Okay, so I'm going to go X form, offset, I'm going to offset this one inch, and I'm going to offset it again, one inch. Okay, then I'm going to zoom in just on this one inch, and then once I create this, I'm just going to take all those marks and copy it. So I'm going to call this zero and this one, I'm going to go. X form offset, and I'm going to offset it a half inch. This is my half inch mark. And then I also need to, um, this half inch mark right here, it needs to be a half inch long. So I'm actually just going to create another line on top of it. That's a half inch. I'm going to go from here to the midpoint. And then I'm going to go back and delete the whoops, delete the long line. So there's my half inch mark. Everybody good there? Then in between my zero and a half is going to be my quarter. So what I'm going to do now is actually let me go ahead and delete this line. 
and I'm going to create a line from here to here. And then I'm going to offset that from my quarter marks a quarter inch. So I'm going to offset this line a quarter inch. And then once I've done that, I'm going to um, create a line. I'll use my previous one here. And now it should snap right on my midpoint, right to my midpoint. So here's my zero, half, quarter. Let me delete these. And I'll create a line from here to here. Um, I'm going to offset that. This is a quarter. How far do I offset this one? Eighth inch. And then I'll create a line from that midpoint to there. Maybe I'll zoom in again. Um, then I'll create a line from here to here. And then I'm going to offset that. How far do I offset this line? 16. And then from there, I'm going to create a line from my midpoint down. So there's my 16th inch. Uh, there's my 8th inch, quarter, and half. I'm going to offset this line 8th uh, of an inch. And I'm going to do that over again and again. So I took those 16ths and offset it. So I'm going to go X form, offset, quarter inch. And this gets offset to there. So I have my first half inch drawn. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go X form, mirror. I'm going to select all these points here. I'm done selecting them. I want to reflect them over a line, and I'm going to reflect them over that line. So there's my first inch. Let me zoom out a little bit. Then Now that I have all these selected, now I'm going to go X4 mirror. I'm going to select all these. I'm done selecting. I'm going to reflect them over a line. And that gives me my second inch. OK, once I've done drawing out my whole ruler, 12 inches of it, I just keep mirroring it over itself until I get three. And then I double those to get six. I double that to get 12. And the next thing I want to do is um, put in my numbers. I do that with uh, create letters, put in number one. I'm going to put the height at a quarter inch. And then I just place it anywhere on the thing. And from there, I go X form, drag, I select it. And then I drag it over to the left side of the one line. That was, uh, I just want to move it, not copy it. And then I'm done. I'll do that for 2 through 12. Um, but I'm not going to put a number on zero, and I need to put it on the left side of the line. When I'm all done laser engraving or CNC cut out of this, then I'm going to go back and cut right on this line so it's a perfect fit. There's my full ruler. Starts here at zero, goes through 12. My board is about 14 inches long. I'm going to laser engrave it. When I'm done, I'll cut right down here and right down here in 16th inch increments.